Hi, so in this video, what we're gonna have a look at is SimCraft. This is a way of simulating characters to see what might be the best talents or the best traits, see how much DPS you can expect to do in different conditions, and also to have a look at your stat weights. It's useful for a few other things as well, but those are the main things, and they're the things I'm gonna go through here. It's gonna come in two parts. The first part, I'm gonna show you how to download and use SimCraft, and then I'm going to show you uh, what are the pros and cons of the information with SimCraft, what can we use it for and what do we have to be a little bit wary of. Okay, there's a few things we're going to want. First of all, we are going to want SimCraft. So we're just gonna put SimCraft download. And there we go. Now we're not gonna, um, what we're gonna do is click on here we don't want anything for uh, 6.3, that's gone now. So Windows builds every few days here, so we just click on this link, and there we go. Uh, and that's the one we actually want there. Um, one that says .exe at the end, you can see this is pretty up to date here. Uh, so that's the one you want, download that, open it up. I've already got it downloaded and opened up, so I'm just gonna go back to Google. There's a few other things we want. Now, we are going to want the Wowhead Artifact Calculator. Specifically the Wowhead one. None of the others will do. Now, another thing we're going to want uh, is we're going to want the um, Legion Talent Calculator. It doesn't matter which Legion Talent Calculator we have. That makes no difference. So let's just have a look what we've got. There's the talent calculator by there. Now we're gonna do this for, we'll do this for demon hunters. You know, they're coming out in a couple of weeks. So that might be quite interesting. We'll do the Havoc, which is the DPS one. And why am I clicking on Paladin? That's just force a habit. Demon Hunter, Havoc. There we go. Okay. Right. So we should be all set here. So what I'm just going to do is minimize that to go onto simulation craft. So this is what it looks like. So what we're just going to do is we're going to click on import. We need to import uh, and we want to click on sample profile. It probably goes on there by default. Of course, none of us have got a level 110 character. So, you know, uh, we're going to use some sample profiles. Demon Hunter. Now, read very, very carefully. If I just show you by way of example, if I clicked on Paladin and say, um, you can see there's some tier 18 profiles here. These are sort of live now. Now, looking ahead to Legion, these are no good. So do check that you're clicking the right one. Check that you're clicking the right spec. So we've got Havoc here. We want that. So just double click that. And, and this is a, a pretty set. Uh, system here. You can sort of edit anything you want in here, but you know, don't. Uh, the one things we might want to edit realistically are the talents and the uh, artifact. And these are the only sort of ones we're going to go through changing here. The purpose for this is that we might have on SimCraft a set artifact profile. We might have a set talent profile. And what you want to do is to sort of compare between two. Now, before we go messing about, there's some other things to be aware of. In the options, we can change the style of file it is. Uh, style of fight is even part of my spoonerisms. Now, Pat, whenever you see sort of sims, people produce sims and they're comparing uh, different classes and more about that later. It's, it's usually on patchwork. So patchwork is your standard single target fight. You're not moving anywhere. You're just full on DPS. There's a a fight length with a, a variation in that fight length and you can vary those as well uh, if you want. So we'll, we'll stick to the single target for now, although we'll have a little look at some AOE ones later. Now a couple of other things to just click on scaling. Uh, now you can see here I'm going to change that strength to agility actually. By default this won't be enabled, so make sure it's enabled and make sure um, the, uh, you know, I'll show you this later, but your primary stat and the secondary stats as well as weapon DPS uh, for melee, quite important. And then a similar sort of thing for this, although that's less important, I'm not really gonna talk about that. So go to simulate. Now, what we're just gonna do is then go to our artifact. 
So, and this is why this has to be wildhead specifically. So we always have to start on that. And we have to get that. Now, in general terms, uh, the way I'm, you know, reminded to go is this way, round here, round here, round here, round there, um, and then we might want to go sort of up there. Oops, click that off. So about sixty. Let's say, because. You're sort of planning for when you want to do sort of like the, the harder content, maybe when raids are getting ready for launch. We don't know when raids are ready to launch, um, <clears throat> but there's a very helpful spreadsheet being produced by someone to sort of predict how long it will take you to get to certain artifact levels. So if we talk about 16 as being a reasonable one for when raids open, uh, if you're going to be getting yourself really up to that, Let's say I'm looking at this and thinking, um, but for the following week, because we don't know when Mythic's going to launch or anything like that, I might have 19, and I could go, well, I could go three like that, and I'm one off another major trait. And then I think, I didn't need this one. I could take that one off and get that. Still 19. Which is better? Uh, because this looks like a beast of a, of a trait. Well, this is a major trait. We've got a dragon. Must be good. Must be good. So which one's the best? So what we just do, uh, I'm going to stick to me 19 and say, okay, I'm going to put this artifact um, root into SimCraft. And what we do is we click here where it says link. And then there's three boxes. We want the simulation craft one. So we just highlight all of that, control and C to copy it. Close it now. And then in SimCraft, I just highlight over this, don't go too far over, you know, stop short of the equal sign, and paste that in. Okay, now in terms of the talents, we can see here we've got one, two, three, doesn't matter about the fourth one there, one, one, one. Uh, and what does that equate to? Um, is it going to let me select them? One, two, do you know what? I'm just going to get rid of this one moment, I'm going to get a better one. Right, so I'm on the uh, Ask Mr. Robot Simulator, which is another way of simulating yourself. This is a much more user-friendly way of simulating yourself, actually. Um, I've already done a, a video just introducing this some time ago, but you can, you know, I will be doing more on this later on as well, but for now we're concentrating on SimCraft. So this is just a convenient way to look at the talent. So, you know, there's the old Fell Mastery here, which is uh, really nice. I'm not going to go through the details for because this is just to show you how to do SimCraft for any spec. But that's the talent set, okay? So you look at that and you go, oh, okay, I'm all right with that talent set. So what we're now gonna do is just click simulate. Now this can take a little while to run, so I'll just fast forward ahead, I think. Okay, and so here we can see the results. Um, so what we're gonna do without even looking at, we're gonna go straight back into simulate, because remember what we wanted to do really was to check with the artifact. So what we're gonna do is Go and change this. We're going to get rid of this now and go for the major trait, which is the other thing we want to check. Click link again. Highlight all of that. Go back to SimCraft. Highlight all of that carefully. Paste it in. Simulate away. Back in a tick. Okay, so there we go. So we've got the other one there. So if we have a look back, this is the one Without the major trait, 239k. With the major trait, 245k. So we can see there's a, a significant difference there. Um, of course, the, the trait that was not the dragon trait was for AOE purposes, so it sort of depends what you want. Remember, this is a patchwork fight. Now, with that in mind, let's mix that up a little. So let's say we're going to say, well, the major trait is looking good here, but we want to just try for talents now. We want to change some talents. Now what I'm going to do in the options is I'm going to say, well, you know, let's say we're going to be into dungeons uh, where trash might be a feature. When it comes to bosses in dungeons, uh, they sometimes can be less dangerous. Everyone's got the cooldowns for them. Everyone's sort of a bit sharper. Trash might be where you have a bit more of a problem. Now, actually, before I click on that, if I just leave my mouse over there, you can see that it sort of tells you what each of these things mean. So what we're actually going to be after here, hectic ad cleave. That means like, basically... Dungeon trash. Uh, it means loads and loads of ads and you're constantly moving around all the rest of it. Uh, keep everything else the same though. So click on simulate. Now again, we'll, we'll keep everything the same as we had before because what we're going to do is check these standard talents that it gave us. And then we're going to try some different talents. 
Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is our first sort of AOE set. So what we're going to do is straight away, we're going to change some talents now. Keep the, the rest of it the same, of course, because we can't change our artifact uh, from situation to situation. We can change our talent. So let's have a look at that. Let's go to some talent. So let's have a look. Let's say I went for Fell Barrage in the end there, and we're not going to change it too much. Let's say I didn't like Demon Blazer. Some people are not keen on that. So I want to go prepare. So I'm going to click prepared. Um, so all I'm doing is changing the second row to number one and the last row to number two. So let's remember that. Second row to number one and the last row to number two. And all the all these numbers are for the talents. It's quite straightforward. It's literally which position they appear reading from left uh, on each row there. So, you know, the seven talent rows uh, and there's the seven numbers that represent those talents and that's all there is to it okay so what we're just going to do is simulate that one finally um, now for AOE it can of course take a little bit longer to simulate this of course the more things you ask it to do all the scaling of the stats will take longer as well um, but you know that's fine you'll uh, get to fast forward through the miracle of time of course, when you're doing this for yourself, you're going to have to go through the whole thing itself. So, okay, so what we would see, I'm, I'm sort of checking, I'm using this to check my talents. So with my standard set of talents, I can see it reckons I'm going to do about 315k DPS with 163k to my main target. So it's sort of imagining we've got a main target, maybe a boss, and there's loads of ads around it. Uh, but in terms of the AOE damage, about 315k. And with this one, 379k. So we loads, loads more. 184 to DPS to the main target, which is more as well. Okay, so just far better off for AoE, of course. Now here's where we can have uh, another little bit of interest. So this was our ideal one for single target. We, we haven't checked them all, but we're going to say it is. And this one for AoE. Uh, of course, there's far more talents and combinations we could have tried for each one. Now another thing we can use this for, this is why I've got it to do all these stats. We can have a look. Uh, our stats here, so what we can see here is versatility best, followed very close by by crit. I mean, they're both pretty equal there. Um, haste and mastery significantly behind. And if we look at for AoE purposes, is it the same pattern? Well, versatility is significantly ahead here. Uh, mastery, a load of shit. And haste and crit, very close in value. Haste maybe slightly sneaking it. So here's where you can sort of look at a situation. You might be, this is what I always say about people with secondary stats. You might be looking uh, at a guide and it says, okay, this is your stat priority. And, and it might say whatever it happens to say at the top. If we looked at this, we'd say versatility. Um, but, you know, we're, we're looking back at the single target thing and versatility is, is marginally ahead at this point. It could easily be a bit behind depending on talents and things like that as well. So your stat priority is quite variable. Um, but one thing we can sort of see here, agility we can see is significantly ahead. Uh, is it the same story there? It is not by as much, but it is still significantly ahead. What that can sort of tell us is sometimes we might look at this, we might go, okay, let's say you get a piece of gear with haste and mastery. Well, there are two worst stats. Oh, I probably shouldn't use it. Well, actually what this is saying is uh, agility is really good. So if it's a higher item level, um, if it's significantly higher, more than like two or three, then actually probably you should still take it because, you know, the, the extra agility. The fact that weapon DPS, uh, look at the, the scale on that, again is a bit of an indication that in actual fact, maybe um, if you're getting a relic and you think, well, I don't really like the trait on it, this is sort of saying, well, actually weapon DPS is worth quite a lot, so stuff it. Um, so you can have a little look at these as well. You can sort of see stat priority in different situations and maybe you sort of decide on an overall stat priority that'll be best in various situations and only you can decide what those situations are going to be one little thing i will show you in the options you can see here player skill uh, try and account for that um if you know for example that if you're comparing talents and you know that you can play one talent pretty well if you chose that talent you'd be able to play it pretty close to the expected standard but there's another talent you're a bit iffy on and you know you're going to make some mistakes maybe when you're simming it you you set yourself as elite for the talent you're very comfortable with and just set it a little bit lower um, for the talent you know you're not so good with just to see if there's a comparison because remember just because sims say this talent is better it doesn't mean to say that it's better for you but anyway now we should talk a little bit more 
about what sims can do and what they can't. So in this section what I want to do is to explain what SimCraft is for. The first point to note is that SimCraft provides data. That's not the same as information. Remember, information is data with meaning. And if you don't really understand what you're looking at, you can come to the wrong conclusion. We are now in the season of people posting onto forums um, comparisons of DPS figures for different classes and specs. I've seen one today. That's what sort of prompted me to do this uh, sooner rather than later. And there are various ways in which that can be, you can be completely misled on that. Now, here's what we need to remember. What people think about SimCraft is that it is an accurate reflection of the DPS that these different classes and specs can do. Now, it aims to be, um, but there are some ways in which it may not match reality. Now, the first of these is that the spells may not be an accurate reflection of what's actually live in game. And there's various reasons for this. For example, you have some spells that don't quite work properly in live. They're not working as intended. That means, like, as an example, um, Retribution Paladin Ability Judgment is supposed to hit its primary target and cleave onto two further targets. That's what the tooltip says. That's not what it's doing. It's only cleaving onto one additional target. So what, of course, uh, might happen initially is people might, uh, the people that do the SimCraft might say, okay, it's cleaving onto two, when in actual fact it's cleaved onto one. Of course, as soon as this is discovered, as soon as it's tested in game, uh, then they will change that. But at any one time, something might not be quite right because sometimes Blizzard hotfix or just change certain abilities and either the people writing the code uh, and SimCraft may not have had time to get up to date or they may not have known and it's up to people to sort of discover this while actually playing on the live servers on the beta or PTR or whatever. So that's one thing that can go a little bit wrong. The second thing is the behavior that's programmed in. What has to be programmed in is the priority system and it's quite a long list. It, when you look at guides, I mean that includes my own guides, we sort of try and simplify it a little bit but if you look at the list on SimCraft, it looks fairly hefty um, because it's, it's taken into account different talents and things like that. Now, this is called the APL, the Action Priority List. What is in there may not actually be what is, in actual fact, the best because the, the theory crafters, of course, all know the classes really, really well. But the per, the re, one of the good things about simulation is it helps you to decide what is the best APL. Now, you might put one in, and then you might need to refine it. It's, it's a trial and error uh, thing. It's not, it's not a program where you can say to it, here are the abilities of the class. Can you tell me what the best order to put them all is? No, actual people need to think about that and decide and then refine it. And, and some specs and classes might crack it earlier than others. And therefore their sims might be a bit more accurate earlier than others. The third thing to note is the gear used might not reflect what you actually have. They use a, a standard set of gear in there, but what if um, for the same item level for where this gear comes from, you have actually much more of a choice and maybe a few pieces are better for that spec than others. I mean, trinkets particularly uh, notable there or just other ones. Uh, with stats, I mean, stat weights might change. You might have chosen a ring with crit and haste on it because they were really good stats. Now maybe versatility or mastery arising. Maybe you've, you had another choice there. So the gear used may not reflect what is best as well. The fourth thing is artifact traits chosen. It chooses a standard set of artifact traits. They may not be the same ones. These sims aren't showing you with a fully traded artifact, or maybe some are, maybe some aren't. That's another thing that would make it look a bit silly when you're comparing different classes, because maybe one classes or one spec sim has a fully traded artifact, another one doesn't. Well, you're comparing, uh, it's not even apples and pears, it's like apples and and, and rabbits. Um, so you have to consider that as well. Is it the traits that you would have gone for? And that's a new consideration for Legion. So there are lots of ways in which it might not be accurate. I mean, the other thing as well, when you do see sims sort of posted out there, um, they're usually for the standard sim, which is for a patchwork fight of roughly 450 seconds, give or take 20%. Patchwork fight is standing still and just hitting a single target. 
Not very common. Uh, in fact, the last time I remember such a boss was um, patchwork. So, given that that's not terribly realistic, there are other options in SimCraft, as I've just shown you, if you've watched the, the how-to guy that just came in the first section. Um, and you can change that around as well to try and mimic more realistic situations as well. But remember, what SimCraft is really good for is to compare within a spec, to compare for your spec, the best talents or the best artifact trait choices for different situations, which is why I've shown you how to be able to change those because those are by far the most important. And yes, you'd be able to look at your stat weights. And what you actually should do when you're determining your stat weights is probably realize that different fights have different conditions. You've got some fights where there's a load of AOE. You've got some fights where it's mostly single target. You've got some fights where there's no movement. You've got some fights where there's lots of movement. Okay, so maybe look at that and, and refine it and then decide your stat weight priority um, from that. So as always, I hope you found that useful. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you've got any specific questions, feel free to post them down below. Do bear in mind, I don't use SimCraft a huge amount. I'm not a guru on it. Uh, I just know how to do the basics, such as I've shown you in here. But uh, if you do have any questions, I might be able to answer them or uh, direct you to someone who can. And until next time, I'll see you later.